If you've ever considered building a website for your creator commerce business, but had no idea what to do with all the tech copy or coding, you're in the right place. Cause today I'm going to show you exactly how I built this entirely optimized and branded website in a weekend using my new pal Everbee store. This is actually part two of our website in a weekend, two part series. So if you missed part one, go ahead and hit pause on this video and go watch that first. We walked through the strategy behind a high converting website, how to set up your branding first and how I built the homepage of my site using Everbee store. So you're going to need all of those pieces before we dive into the next steps that we're going to go over in this video. But if you have already watched part one and you're ready to follow along with me, but haven't signed up for your own Everbee store yet, you can do so for just $1 immediately. I'll leave the link for that deal in the description of this video. Today, we're diving deeper into the pages that turn browsers into buyers. I'm going to show you guys how I structured my about page, my offer pages, and even connected Printify to list physical products, all with no code and all in one weekend. But here's the thing. The pages I built were based on my business model. So as we walk through these today, I'm actually going to be showing how I built them, but also what you could do differently, depending on what kind of seller you are, whether you're a digital product creator, Etsy or Shopify seller, handmade seller, or POD brand owner. Let's start with the about page because every business, no matter your niche does need one. And no, this isn't just a page where you're going to write your life or business story. The goal of this page is to build trust, showcase your values and connect with your ideal customer. Here's how I built mine and how you can tweak it for your shop as well. I started with a hero section. I used a photo from a past brand shoot and added this headline. I built the business I couldn't find and now help you do the same, directly telling my ideal buyer that I am here to help them while also piquing their interest a little to keep scrolling to learn a little bit more about what type of business I couldn't find. Using our handmade candle shop example from part one, you can see they chose a simple aesthetically pleasing photo as their hero image and a simple about title. For you, this section could be where cozy meets clever, crafted with intention, made for joy, designs for dreamers, makers, and doers. Think vibe over resume in this section. Now, when I'm talking about my story and what my business actually does, I want to think back to my ideal buyer and how they need to receive information. This is why we built all of these fundamentals during the first part of the series. If you have not watched part one, I don't know why you're still here. Go there first and come back to this and pick up where you left off. But since we did do that work together, I know that my audience likes to receive information super quick so they can easily skim to get the info they need. Because of that, I decided to use drop downs and split up sections to help break my story into bite-sized chunks. And you can do the same, something like why you started, what makes your creations different, maybe a behind the scenes peek at how your products are made or designed. If you're a digital creator, you can spotlight the aha moment that made you start building your templates or downloads. If you're a print on demand seller, you could talk about the companies you partner with and why you chose to work with them to help guarantee the best quality and experience for your customers. I also made the decision to add a photo slideshow here to humanize my brand even more and split up the text areas as well. This helps add a layer of face behind the brand, which will help connect you with your community and potential buyers, which also could possibly help them trust you more and be willing to invest in your business and products. So that's how I personally built out my about page. Next up in my personal business, I built a page called learn where I broke down all of my coaching and course offers. But here's how you guys could adapt this. If you're not offering personalized services, think of this page as like your collection hub. If you're a print on demand seller, for example, this could be shop the collections where each block leads to a product line like creator mugs, work from home tees or stickers that speak, which is what I'm selling in my store. If you're a handmade seller, you might title it explore what's new or customer favorites linking out to things like seasonal collections, product categories, best sellers or gift ideas. If you sell digital products, this could be something like start creating today and feature your top products like Canva template packs, business planner kits, printable sticker bundles, whatever you're selling. So here's the structure we can build out for this particular page. We start again with a hero section with a quick benefit driven headline. You can add three to five image and text blocks, each one spotlighting a specific category. Each block is going to have an image, a short description and a button. For me, I decided to go ahead and add two buttons for these. All right, guys, we are going to switch it up a little bit because I wanted to take you guys behind the scenes of the exact core offer pages that I built. I didn't want to show you guys necessarily like how to build these out because it's not not something that you guys are more than likely going to have to build unless you are a creator and mentor like I am, which by all means you can, like I said, look in the description, you can see my exact website and how we have these. Um, but the first thing I'm going to show you is on the home page. Like we discussed, you're going to have access to get to the learn page here. And then we're also going to have learn all the stinking things, bunch of different places where that's going to go. And then that's going to take us to the learn page, which is where my core offers are going to be located. So we have our cost list, content, community, course, 
courses and coaching. So each of these individual things needed to also be built. So instead of just this, this is not going to sell people into my coaching programs necessarily. So I wanted to go ahead and make an additional page that was strictly for coaching, an additional page that was strictly for courses, etc. And these individual links are going to take them there. But I also wanted to just quickly show you guys what I did up in the header as well. I went ahead and broke them down under the learn. So you can see in my header, it says learn and there's like a little kind of upside down arrow or carrot. Um, so you're going to see freebies is also going to take you to the same place this is going to go. So let's check it out. So if we click on this, this should take me to my freebies page. So you can see great things in life are free, content creator starter kit, UGC Academy replay, etc. So a couple of different things and how they can get them. And then if I go to learn freebies, it should take me to the exact same page. So I wanted to really quickly just go behind the scenes and kind of like put a little blip in this video and show you exactly how I am getting to those. And it's basically just four identical programs. These are going to be the exact same layouts built for each of the individual things that I offer. So if we go to coaching, it's going to look the exact same as the other two. So they're identically built pages. It's just a matter of changing the content and changing the photos and then also making sure we have the accurate call to action buttons for them. Now let's move on to talking about physical products. If you use Printify, Everbe Store makes it ridiculously easy to connect, sync, and publish your items. But of course, like everything else we do together, you need to build this part intentionally as well. Here's exactly how I did it. Step one is product planning. Before designing anything, I researched what my customers actually use and will want. I browsed Etsy, Pinterest, Amazon, and even asked people on Instagram exactly what they wanted from me. I took note of what phrases were trending in my space, what product types people seem to love in that space, whether it's for themselves or somebody else, what color palettes my ideal buyers were into, and what they would actually use in their day-to-day -day life. Remember, my ideal buyers are women who want to build creative businesses online. So I picked a few products from Printify, like stickers that they could add to their laptop cases on the outside of their water bottles, wherever, mugs so they could enjoy their morning or afternoon coffee with a sign of empowerment, tote bags, because a lot of my ideal customer base travels frequently to different conferences or events or to visit their clients. And I wanted them to be able to support their love for their business on their bags. Also notebooks to take notes during the workday or at events with designs on the front that kept them inspired. I also decided on apparel like shirts, hoodies, crewnecks, hats, etc. So instead of just bringing everything over from Etsy, think about who your ideal buyer is and go back to that customer avatar. What would enhance their life as a physical product? Feel free to scroll through Printify's huge catalog of products and simply favorite the ones that you believe your audience would like by clicking the heart button on the right corner of each item. We are also doing this step first because we need to know what design size parameters we will need to be able to have each design print out on each product in high resolution. Step two is design. I created my designs in Canva and Kittle and made sure they could be reused across multiple products. For example, this small business big heart design that I made could be applied to a sipper cup, a tote bag, stickers, magnets, etc. Step three is you're going to upload the designs to Printify. Once inside Printify, you'll simply click start designing next to the product you want to start with. Upload your designs in the design editor, adjust sizing and placement as needed, select mock-ups or add your own that match your brand style and save the product. Then you're going to add in your title, your description, and then choose the shipping type that you want, as well as adjust your pricing or profit margins if you need to and click save, but don't hit publish. Step four is to actually go back into your Everbee store dashboard and go to apps, integrations, Printify, then click add. This is how you're going to log into your Printify account. Once you're connected, you can click fetch updates in the top right corner and your first product that you made will appear on Everbee store and you can click publish to store. Once they're live, they'll show up in your product tab just like any other item. You can group them using collections right Right inside of Everbee Store too, which are like Etsy sections to make your store easier to shop and feel more elevated, organized, and intentional. Some example collections could be holiday gifts for the home office, bestsellers, digital planners, funny stickers, etc. You can also even add these individual collection links as drop down options within your header under whatever you decided to call your products page. For example, mine is called Merch, and you can see I have all of my collections easily organized under that one menu title as well. Now that everything is built, it is time to tie it all together. Here's what I did before telling my community about my new website. Step one is I created a simple contact page. You can use the built-in form block, include your email address or social handles for questions, and anything else you think your community or website visitors will need from you. Number two is a mobile check. Scroll through your site on your phone. Make sure all spacing, button sizing, and text alignment makes sense, and all videos are playing and button links are working. With that said, 
test every CTA. Click every button and form on both desktop and mobile and make sure everything works. Step five is to make sure all of your payment and tax information is updated in Everbee Store and Printify, of course, if necessary, so you can make and take payments when they happen. Everbee Store integrates with Stripe, so you can quickly make that account in just a few minutes. You guys now have a complete business website and a weekend tutorial. One that sells your products, captures leads, tells your story, and most importantly, grows with your goals. So whether you're scaling beyond Etsy or just want a space that's fully yours, Everbee Store makes it doable without needing a degree in web design because I sure as heck don't have one. If you found this walkthrough helpful, let me know if you have any questions about Everbee Store in the comments, and I will make intentional videos answering those questions next. And if you're ready to start building your own site after this website in a weekend series, don't forget we are offering your first month of Everbee Store for just $1. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to check out this full Everbee Store tutorial next if you're looking to dive even deeper into how to build out your own store from start to finish. I'll see you over there.